Where did we come from? The Bible says, in the beginning, God created. Evolution teaches the opposite. No one created. It all happened by itself. Which one is the truth? This is Headquarters. Doc M. Jackie and Rich. Their job? Investigate and discover the truth. This is The Creation Case. Hi, Jackie. I have Rich's next assignment. You do? Mm -hmm. Awesome. What's he investigating? You'll never guess. Ooh. <clears throat> Mystery. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, you got a new t-shirt. <laughs> Pretty cool. Wait, dinos. He's going to be researching dinosaurs, right? That's right. Din dinosaurs used to be my favorite animals as a kid. I'm not quite sure why they were always painted really scary. That's true, but it would be really cool to see one in real life. You're right. Yeah. That reminds me, I just got this email, uh, a question today, and it's from Victor in Medicine Hat. That's wow. Alberta, Canada. Oh. Mm -hmm. He says to us, dear HQ people, that's us. Okay. Dinosaurs are my favorite animals. I like to read about them. Ah, they're mine too. <laughs> I've always read that the last ones died 65 million years ago. Mm. The thing is that in church last week, the pastor talked about creation and how God created the world a few thousand years ago. So when did the dinosaurs really live? Please help me, Victor. You know, he has a point. You see, my little brother, he's in love with dinosaurs too. And he watches this TV show. And in the TV show, every time they bring up dinosaurs or the past, they use like millions of years ago. Hmm. We need to get this assignment off to Rich. Maybe he can shed some dino light on it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> where, where, where is Rich today? You know, okay, so... He sends me this message and I quote, hanging around in California today. Hanging around in California today. Yep. Maybe he's taking the day off at the beach. <laughs> it's okay, I can fix it. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna send this to Ridge. Do you have a creation question for headquarters? Send your questions to Doc, Jackie, and Rich by visiting our website at thecreationcase.com. Uh oh, I think I got a message from HQ. Must be our next assignment. I better climb up to a safe place and check it from there. All right, let's see what we have here. Hi Rich, Jackie here at HQ. Doc M just gave me your new assignment for today and I wanted to give it to you. It's, um, <clears throat> well, a little unusual today. Unusual? I'll say. It's a great choice of words, Jackie. It's unusual. Unusual? 
Hmm, I wonder what they have planned today. Rich, your assignment today is about investigating, well, dinosaurs. Dinosaurs? You heard correctly, dinosaurs. You're hearing just fine, Rich. Dinosaurs. Grr. <laughs> Everywhere we turn, it says dinosaurs lived millions of years ago. But the Bible says God created the earth only a few thousand years ago. So when did they live? They both can't be right. Your assignment today, look for evidence about dinosaurs. Did they live millions of years ago? Or did they live recently? We really look forward to getting your report. Grrr. Wow, cool, dinosaurs. I better let them know I got the message. Got message. Dinos. Well, that's an interesting assignment. Dinosaurs. I wonder... Something else. Roar. That was probably Doc M. Oh, another one. That was Doc M. I figured. Well, we have our assignment. I'm going to write it down in my journal. Dinosaurs. Hmm. Since dinosaurs are extinct, it's not like we can go visit one in the zoo. How do we even know they existed? I know. We need to look for some evidence that dinosaurs did exist once upon a time. We need to visit a dinosaur track site. Let's get going. We need to get back to our Jeep. First things first, we need to get off this mountain. Wow, what an amazing view. God can sure make some awesome scenery. All right, let's get going on assignment. Help us investigate today. Download and print your own free journal study guide at thecreationcase.com. We're almost to the spot here in Wyoming where we can see a dinosaur track site. The evidence that dinosaurs existed has been found on every continent. There are thousands of clues such as track sites, eggs, skin impressions, droppings, and lots of fossil bones. Now, of course, dinosaurs are extinct. Well, we're here, but you know what? First of all, I want to show you some replicas of some dinosaur claws I have with me. Check this out. This isn't real. It's a copy of a Velociraptor claw. I also have one of a Mega Raptor. Want to guess why they call it a Mega Raptor? Check this out. This was a big animal. Rawr! The big question is, when did dinosaurs live? Evolution teaches that the last dinosaurs died off around 65 million years ago. On the other hand, the Bible says that God made all the creatures of the earth, and when he was done, he said that it was good. All right, we are at the track site but sometimes they're a little hard to spot. We need to really look around. You know, the Bible doesn't say that God created some of the creatures. It says he created all of them. Only God can create life. The enemy can't create life. He may have the power to corrupt life, but only God can create life. So it would seem that in the beginning, God created these creatures. Hey, I found one. Check this out. Dinosaurs walked here many, many years ago. Check out the distance between their steps. That's a really neat track. You know, I think I'm gonna try to sketch it in my journal. 
A lot of people assume God couldn't have created dinosaurs, they're so scary. But if you think about it, there's a bunch of scary things out there, like crocodiles and tigers or wolves, or other scary creatures like scorpions and wasps. And there's even scary plants that are poisonous or filled with thorns. Still, not all dinosaurs were scary. Some were probably friendly. Dinosaurs seem scary, but they're not the only scary creatures out there. The world is filled with scary animals. Did God create them this way? Probably not. Something changed. Something happened. No one knows exactly how it happened, but the Bible gives us some clues. Genesis 3 says that as a result of sin, a curse or punishment resulted. Since the enemy had been disguised as a serpent, it appears he had some control over the animal kingdom. No one knows for sure, but it would appear that from that day forward, sin caused many sad changes to come over the animal kingdom. The most severe result of sin was death. Every living thing would eventually have to die. It sounds like all living things were physically changed, including dinosaurs. I'm gonna write that down in my journal. Only God can create life. Many sad changes in the animal kingdom were the results of sin. We should keep in mind that the enemy also has powers. Not to create life, but maybe to corrupt life. Dinosaur tracks are pretty neat, but is it possible to actually see a dinosaur? You know, there's a dinosaur excavation going on right now, right here in Wyoming. It would be great to go see where they're pulling out the fossilized bones out of the ground. Let's get back to the Jeep. Hi everyone. Doc M here at HQ. We sent Rich out to investigate dinosaurs today, but here at headquarters, we can help too. I started digging around and found some interesting things I want to tell you about. It. I love playing with my dino toys, but you know what? Some people think dinosaurs never even existed. Someone might be wrong. Okay, so let's look at some pictures. This will be fun. Dinosaurs are cool, and there's actually a lot of evidence that dinosaurs really did exist. For example, we find lots of fossilized dinosaur bones buried and preserved in the ground. This makes sense since according to the Bible, tons of them would have been buried during the flood. Whoa, look at this big old bone. We also find dinosaur eggs, a bunch of shapes and sizes. Wow, sometimes the embryo inside is even fossilized like this one. Here's another dinosaur fossil. This is called coprolite. That's actually the scientific word for fossilized droppings. I know, that's kind of gross, but dinosaurs had to go to the bathroom too. Another evidence is dinosaur footprints. There are many dinosaur track sites all over the world showing where dinosaurs walked. And they're in all shapes and sizes. Even impressions of their skin have been fossilized. Wow, there's a ton of evidence that dinosaurs really did exist. And still, some people choose to believe they never existed. Don't you find that kind of strange? There's even lots of ancient drawings and carvings of strange creatures that resemble dinosaurs. No one knows what they really are for sure, but just by looking at fossils alone, we can know for sure that dinosaurs definitely existed. And you know what? Only God can create living things. Yet again, I am convinced that God is my creator. Hey everyone, it's me, Rich Aguilera. I'd love to see you at one of our live events. To see where I'll be speaking, visit our website, The Creation Case. Com.
We are in Eastern Wyoming, not too far from South Dakota. The place that we're gonna be digging is about a mile from here and we have to go on foot, come on. In the past, scientists working here say they've uncovered three basic types of dinosaurs, Triceratops, Tyrannosaurus rex, and Edmontosaurus. Wyoming is a great place to hunt around for dinosaur fossils. Hey, look, there's dinosaur fossils just laying around on the ground. Many scientists report that they find these dinosaur bones and that they're 60, 100, even 200 million years old. Did they really live that long ago? Did you know that a few years ago, a scientist in Montana found some fossils of T-Rexes that is causing a stir in the scientific community. In one of its leg bones, they discovered soft, unfossilized blood vessels, blood cells, and soft tissues. Scientists are coming forward now and saying that it's impossible that a dinosaur could remain unfossilized for 70 million years. They say it shouldn't even last a couple thousand years without becoming fossilized. Actually, I have a picture of that here on my phone. Check this out. Soft tissues from a T-Rex? That's incredible. Scientists examining it even talk about the awful stench of decay. Sadly, many scientists are still hanging on to the belief that dinosaurs lived millions of years ago. Instead of studying the possibilities that, hey, maybe they did live more recently, scientists are now working harder to try to figure out how to explain how soft tissue could have survived for 70 million years without being fossilized. In the meantime, more and more examples of soft tissues are being found in dinosaur fossils. We're gonna do a little digging today. I hope we find some fossils. As always, safety is very important. Using the right tools also helps us to be careful around the fossils. Hey, check out this fossil I'm working on. This is from an Edmontosaurus. This is the hip bone. We need to excavate really carefully around it so we don't damage it. It's fun to learn about dinosaurs, but we'll never know everything. We don't even know what they look like, if they had fur or what color they were. One neat piece of evidence about this site here in Wyoming is the graded beds. One of evolution's theories is that dinosaurs died in small local floods, or that they got swept away by a river, but that they just died one at a time. But the evidence here proves that a large catastrophic event killed the animals first and then deposited them to this location. Scientists know that because the fossils that we find here have been sorted. That's why we find large fossils on the bottom, the medium ones higher up, and on the top we find the smallest ones. That's called a graded bed. The only way that they could be sorted this way is by being all brought here by one huge flood. Hmm. Genesis vividly describes the account of a giant global flood. Does the Bible talk about dinosaurs? Well, it doesn't use the word dinosaurs because it's a pretty new word, but it does talk about dragons and it mentions them over 30 times and it describes them as these big mean animals that lived at that time. Were these real animals? No one knows what those animals really were. Verses in the Bible talk about the place where dragons live, or about slaying the dragons in the sea, or about being swallowed up by a dragon. Were these dragons in the Bible dinosaurs? I don't know. Many scholars think those verses were more poetic and metaphorical, but again, no one knows for sure. The book of Isaiah writes about fiery flying serpents in Egypt just like the ones Herodotus wrote about. The book of Job describes an animal called the behemoth, a huge animal with a humongous tail. The book of Job also describes an animal called the Leviathan, a huge scaly sea monster, and everybody was terrified of it. And that's not all. 
The creature, Leviathan, is also mentioned in the books of Psalms and Isaiah. Again, no one knows for sure what these animals are that are being described in the Bible. Some think they may be jackals or hippos or crocodiles, but some of the descriptions don't fit any animals that are alive today. It's a bit of a mystery. Come on, let's go check out other parts of the quarry. So what happened to all the dinosaurs? We know from all the dinosaur fossils that we find that many were buried in some sort of water-related catastrophe. They all got buried rapidly and preserved underground. Otherwise, if they're left on the surface, they're not going to last very long, they're going to decay, or scavengers are going to get them. All over the planet, on every continent, there are billions and billions of creatures that have been buried by some water-related catastrophe. Mammals, birds, reptiles, fish, insects, and yes, even dinosaurs. With evidence of billions and billions of creatures buried by water and mud all over our planet, you would think it would be just easy enough to say, everything got buried by water and mud on our planet. But evolution cannot agree to that, because that would mean there was a global flood. A global flood means the Bible is true. And if the Bible is true, that means God created the world. It's really sad to think that some people are missing out on the Bible truths that tell us where we came from. The Bible says that God destroyed the world with a huge global flood. A handful of animals were saved, but the rest of the animals on the planet were destroyed. They were buried by the flood waters. If we compare the things that the Bible says to the things that we see on this planet, they go together quite neatly. So, were dinosaurs on the ark? I don't know. That's a really good question. But what I do know is the Bible says that two of every animal was on the ark. If there were dinosaurs on the ark, I've got to assume that God would have sent young ones, not the big old giant ones. That's the other thing. The Bible says that before the flood, men used to live hundreds of years. Methuselah lived 969 years. But after the flood, something changed and they started living shorter lives. So is it possible that animals before the flood could also live longer lives? Could a turtle live to a thousand years? Could an insect live for 50 years? Could a reptile live for 500 years? We do find fossils of giant animals that lived in the past. For example, giant turtles. Got a picture here on my phone. or giant dragonflies, huge ones with a two-foot wingspan. What about large reptiles? Did you know that reptiles never stop growing? What would happen if a reptile lived for 500 years and never stopped growing? It would become pretty large, like a dinosaur? After all, Many dinosaurs were reptiles. There sure are a lot of unanswered questions out there. I just hope that someday soon, I can ask God those questions. You know, I think I'm going to write all this down in my journal. Dinosaurs are extinct creatures that used to grow very large. The world is filled with dinosaur fossils, which were buried by water. It sure seems like the dinosaur clues we've seen today show us that dinosaurs lived recently, not millions of years ago. Clues such as soft tissues and old memories and legends are evidences that some extinct creatures died in enormous quantities during the flood. Wow, 
wow, what an amazing day. It's amazing that we were pulling fossilized dinosaur bones out of the ground today. It's cool to think I was the first person to uncover a part of an animal that was probably buried at the time of the flood. There's a lot about dinosaurs we don't know, but it sure is fun trying to learn about them. One thing I know for sure, only God can create life. Well, I need to finish up my report and send it off to HQ. Remember, if you want to read it, just go to our website. We sure learned some amazing things today. We were reminded that only God can create life and how sin affected all of nature. We also learned how dinosaurs are just extinct reptiles that grew to be very, very big. The time we spent at the dig showed us how so many of these animals died at the time of the flood. Many people out there don't want to believe that God is our creator. Instead, they choose to believe in evolution and that all the millions of complex creatures out there evolved from random chemical mixing. No, it was God who created everything and his most prized possession, people, you. The Bible says you are God's workmanship. Can you imagine the God who has the power to speak something into existence created you? Who you are on the inside is what's most important. But still, he knows everything about you, including the amount of hairs on your head. You were created unique special by a powerful loving God. I hope that you'll never forget that. Well, I hope you'll join me again for our next assignment. And remember, God the Creator loves what He's created, especially you. Good night. Don't go yet, we've got bloopers! Dragonflies. <laughs> I don't know how to say dragonflies. That there were at least, oh, hey, so close. Okay. <coughs> wow, off this rock. <laughs> Here, but you know what? <laughs> Because the word wasn't in We find I'm tripping over stuff here. Most of these are cow patties. I better write this down in my animales. That wasn't even close. <laughs>